Hello, this is Oak Bowser. Welcome to Bowser's Trinity Arcana. So this is my continuing multiplayer match versus Michael Small with his 1916 Icarus mod. Mod you use. We've got Strange Command, World War One. I'm Nintan. Use Sench Powers. Let's go. It's episode 23. So Michael's been watching and listening. Uh, we've been discussing behind the scenes. He's going to be making quite a lot of a lot of uh, revisions. Uh, never got to play this mod or this this scenario uh, this deep in a test. Apparently, he didn't either. He did put, he did test some other people, but uh, anyway, um, I do believe there's a threshold that's going to come where the Germans have decision whether to send a Zimmerman telegram or not uh, because of all the U-boat activity and. Uh, the United States mobilization has been going up, but the unrestricted warfare. One of the problems with this mod that he's going to change was unrestricted warfare should have been kicking off from the very first turn because it was declared in 1915. So he was just jumping in. So anyway, France is ready to fold up where where it'd still be in the war. The United States would be in the war now, and probably Russia, uh, even though they'd be ready to go on the revolution. Well, a couple months. <clears throat> anyway, unless I really, there was a real disaster, even a faster disaster. Uh, but anyway, well, these things happen. So we're going to play it out. Data collecting too here. I did get my tanks. The French did, but uh, I need to upgrade it before I unleash it. So if the Zimmerman camp, there's like an 8% chance. Well, anyway, let's watch. I got 3D sprites on. Yeah, this is brutal here. I've done this tactic on opponents. Uh, I didn't know he had that many in the middle in the Irish Sea. I mean, I went after his subs. I'll probably go to the 3D sprites too uh, when we get to the Western Front. This looks cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to hold Trent. I was kind of surprised it held as long as I, as I did. It's not necessarily the best thing to do for Italy. It, it does help the national morale. It, it, it does send an Austro-Hungarian national morale, but you really gotta, you gotta, like, they take this right here. You gotta follow up with it. So sometimes it's best is to leave it alone. <laughs> it depends on uh, the game, though. Oh, he's, yeah, he's got it. Can he get in? He'll get in. Like, even though I got all the artillery here. Yeah, he's gonna go out to Venice. It's cut off. Yeah, I mean, there's no, he doesn't face that many Russians. Well, he isn't facing Russians. He's gotta maintain a certain amount of troops. When I'm back, I don't even think I can hold Corfu. Get the artillery down in there. I mean, I could dig in there, but. You know, gonna try to go off for me to the rail bins. Yeah, my attacks here were totally ineffective. I couldn't even kill a unit. Yeah, I got a 40 inch screen here. I have to tell you, 3D sprites, they look good, but uh, you know, for me, it's just too busy. So I go up NATO. So, uh, and that sprites like this, yeah, uh, he's gone. And there's another sale. I might as well just pull back. Well, I probably will kill it. It won't matter. In the front TV, and then I have another sailor in front of Ruin. I might as well just pull back now and save myself the aggravation. Now of all the forts, Belfort, I've been a little old Belfort. This is one way to get to it. I gotta keep filling that hole with units. And then and behind it. If he goes in there, I got a lot of artillery, he can't. It's it's difficult. Look at that, he's got a 
He's really got an elite. Yeah, there it is, isn't he? I don't know if I can tell the difference between the stormtroopers and them look like with the 3D sprites, and I'm not sure. I don't think the needle see. There's no, there's a massacre on Ararat. Yeah, I'm trying to slow him down so I can get in Medina. Probably won't, ain't going to be enough, though. Even if I survive. Uh, there's Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence is gone. Yeah, we did whack on some pretty good, but... And the supply's getting down there a little bit. I worked on ASW too. I'm on ASW. I mean, work. I, I researched. I haven't gotten three yet, though. I did work on it pretty good. But yeah, we're gonna lose the oil field here. <clears throat> I dug in there. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's behind me. Ugh. He's gonna go into Tunisia, so I gotta get something to us. I do have a tank unit, but I want to upgrade it. It's right there. Yeah, I'll attack again. I'll just get slaughtered. Um, let's we'll see. What, what are, where are we at, anyway? French National Morale is at 1%. Well, I don't think it's going to do it. I, I don't even think the, the Zimmerman can fire decision for the Germans. He said he did it. But what? it's 80% chance. They sent it to the English, or the English intercepted, or something like that, and same percent chance they sent it on. If the British get a decision, send it on to the United States that they believe it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. See, I got a dread, and I ran into this, and I don't. Let's look up for. Yeah, I can't even touch him. do that we're gonna have to get you safe uh, okay Supply five. Supply eight. Yeah, we have to lock it. So long.
Jesus. Like her zinc and do nothing. We just gotta block him and get him. I do anyway, see if I can get a spy down. I don't think so. here. We don't even have backup units. Look at that. Three, three, three. All we can do is show them. Look how high the readiness is. You gotta get it you gotta get it in the gray man before you even got a chance. Yeah, I don't have anything to back this up, but I'll hit him anyway.
Yeah, I could have used those, but why? <clears throat> Alright. 160. Italy. Well, we're going to kick out the Albanians. Get on down here.
Yeah, that's it. August 11th, 1917. Yeah. We're just going to have to hide in desert, boys. Here we go. Hail. Unrestricted tax on trade in North Atlantic affect British morale. Yeah. Unrestricted tax on trade in Irish Sea. Yeah, I can't get those subs out. It's really hard in St. George's Sea. There's three St. George's, Irish Sea, and the North Channel. France surrenders. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, man. Central powers liberate Algeria. Central powers liberate Morocco. US, USA protests the use of unrestricted naval warfare. I don't think they sent out the Zimmerman. <laughs> Too late now. It's over. Uh, okay. Private development. Such a power's major victory. All right, congratulations, Michael. And yes, there's going to be lots of revisions. I did my best. I'm not going to do an AR. He'll, he's going to post something. Well, this is the AR. He's going to post the changes we discussed while we were playing this. Uh, and that's it. All right. Well, it's done. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Now we'll get to see what he had to maintain over here. It is a substantial amount, but here are just detachments instead of cores. I think one core for each. Maybe here. Yeah. Uh, Turks. Yeah, he didn't want to go after that. I would have went after this. Yeah. His Armenian holdout at Mount Ararat. Well, that disappeared quickly, but yeah, look at look at what was coming down. Yeah, having a railroad uh, really helps. Yeah, we didn't have a chance. All right, well, those are Belzer. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the virtual battlefields. We'll revisit this again uh, in the future. Uh, apologize for the Andy Nine. It's a mod. He worked really hard on it, and uh, yeah, there's definitely got to be there's balance issues. I would say, I ain't to I ain't to. I ain't a top player, but I definitely World War One. I. I know, I know my, I know my World War One game, man. All right, see you guys later. I'm gone.